Okay, it's for that one. Should be one. Oops. One fourth. Number two. All right, answer for this one should be forty-seven over forty-two. Okay, answer should be one. Go ahead, bring your number up for the lottery. Okay, winning numbers for today are twelve and twenty. Okay, flashcards. Go ahead and say them out loud. Okay, homework check's gonna be up here. Just be sure to keep track of how many you have right. Number one should be C equals 65. Number two should be C equals 65. Number three, A equals 33. Number four, A equals 39. Number five, B equals 60. Number six, A equals 13. Number seven, A equals 51. Number eight, B equals 84. Number nine, A equals 28. And number 10, C equals 110. Okay, any questions on the homework? All right, our objective for today. We're going to be solving polynomial equations. Our learning target is to solve polynomial equations of the form x squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Okay, for example 1, we have x squared plus 3x plus 2. What we're looking for are the numbers that we can plug in for x that's going to give us 0. Now to find this, first thing we need to do are find the factors. Find the factors of x squared plus 3x plus 2. The factors are what we can multiply together that's going to give us x squared plus 3x plus 2. We're going to start, if we have an x squared with a coefficient of 1, each factor is going to start with x. It's going to be x plus or minus some number times x plus or minus some number. We need to find out what those numbers are. Now to do that, we look at our last number in our equation, which is plus 2. What are the factors of positive 2? What two numbers can we multiply together, together to give us 2? 1 and 2. Are there any other numbers? Okay, now we take a look at our factors, and since there's only one set of factors that we have here, it'll be a lot easier. We want to look at what factors multiply to give us 2 and add to give us a positive 3. Now, what factors do we have? We only have 1 and 2. Do they multiply to give us 2? They add to give us 3. And these are the factors we're going to use. We put in our 2 and our 1, and they are positive. A positive 1 and a positive 2 added together will give us 3. And a positive 1 times a positive 2 will give us a positive 2. Okay, next we need to set these equal to 0. Each of our factors, so we take x plus 1, set that equal to 0. And we take x plus 2, set that equal to 0. And then we just solve for x. x plus 1 equals 0, what's our x going to be? Negative 1, right. We just need to subtract 1 from both sides. x plus 2 equals 0. What is our x going to be? Negative 2. So our final answer is going to be x equals negative 1, x equals negative 2. These are the numbers that we can plug in for x in our equation that will give us 0. Okay, we have, oops, 
We have x squared plus xx plus 8 is equal to 0. We want to find our factors. We know since we have a 1 times x squared, our factors are going to start with x. We have a positive 8. We want to find the factors of our positive 8. What are the factors of 8? 2 and 4. 2 and 4. What else? 1 and 8. Anything else? All right. What two numbers multiply to give us 8 and add to give us a positive 6? 2 and 4. 2 and 4. So those are the factors we're going to use. It's a positive 2 and a positive 4. So those are going to be our final answers. Answer for that one should be 2 fifteenths. Okay, answer should be 2 thirds. Okay, solution for practice problem number one. We have x squared plus 4x plus 3. We want to look at the factors of positive 3. What are the factors of 3? 1 and 3. Are there any others? Now that pretty much narrows it down what our factors are going to be. Okay, 1 and 3. Do those multiply to give us 3 and add to give us positive 4? Yes. So those are going to be our answers. We set these equal to 0. Our answer should be x equals negative 1 and x equals negative 3. Okay, answer for this one should be 19 over 12. Okay. okay, answer for this one should be 21 over 32. Solution for the practice problem, we have x squared plus 5x plus 6. We want to list our factors of 6. What are the factors of 6? 3 and 2. 3 and 2, 1 and 6. Anything else? Okay, what factors are going to add to give us a positive 5 and multiply to give us a positive 6. 3 and 2, right. Which means we're going to put in our factors, positive 3 and a positive 2. We set these equal to 0. And our answer should be x equals negative 3 and x equals negative 2. We have Okay, extra credit will be on Facebook, but if you want to go ahead and write it down. Alright, for example number 3, this time we have x squared plus x minus 6 is equal to 0. Now we need the factors of negative 6 that are going to add to give us 1. Remember, if there's not a number in front of the x, that means there is a 1 there. What are the factors of negative 6? Negative 3 times 2. Negative 1 times 6. What about negative 2 times 3? Negative 6 times 1. Are there any others? Okay, example 4, we have x squared minus 7x plus 12. What are the factors of 12? 2 and 6. 3 and 4. 1 and 12. And remember, a negative times a negative also gives us a positive. So factors of... Right, negative 2 and negative 6, negative 3 and negative 4. These are all going to multiply to give us a positive 12. 
All right, now which two of these multiply to give us a positive 12, but add to give us a negative 7? Negative, negative 3 and negative 4. So we plug those in, x minus 3 and x minus 4. Set those equal to 0. Oops. Oh, that should be a minus sign. Minus 4 equals 0. When we solve these, we add 3 to both sides, we get x equals 3. Add 4 to both sides and get x equals 4. And those are our final answers. Let's go ahead and try practice problem number 3. Okay, answer for this one should be 7 over 15. Go straight to the practice or the solution for the practice. We have x squared minus 2x minus 8. Uh, first thing we want to do is go ahead and write down the beginning of our two factors that multiply to give us x squared minus 2x minus 8. Next thing, what we want to do is we want to look at our minus 8. We're going to figure out what numbers multiply to give us a negative 8. Now we have negative 1 times 8 gives us negative 8. We have 8 times, oops, negative 8 times a positive 1 will give us negative 8. Negative 4 times 2 will give us negative 8. Negative 2 times 4. And I think that's all. So these are all the numbers that we can multiply together to give us a negative 8. Next, what we want to do is we want to figure out which two of these numbers can we add to give us a negative 2. We want to look at what's in front of our x to minus 2. Look at our factors of negative 8. Negative 1 and positive 8, when we add those together, we get positive 7. So that is not right. Negative 8 and 1 will give us a negative 7, so that's not right. Negative 4 and positive 2, that's going to give us a negative 2 when we add those together. So those are the factors that we're looking for. So negative 4 and positive 2. We set these equal to 0. And then we solve for x x minus 4 equals 0 is going to give us x equals 4 and x plus 2 equals 0 is going to give us x equals negative 2. If you have money to exchange, go ahead and bring it on up.